Hello, and welcome to a brand new jazz session. Today we are going to be playing a game from one of my favorite franchises. The newest game to that franchise, Tales of Berseria. I like the anime style opening. Well, I guess in a in a, in a Tales game, you're not going to get anything but the uh but the uh anime opening. Okay, so Tales of Berseria. Let's go. New new game. I will check, see how the uh, controls are. I don't. I played the demo. I don't remember them being bad, but uh, I'll check. I'll uh, I'll I might adjust them in game anyway. Okay, so let's start the game. Between 15 and this game, no one can spell demons right anymore. You hide here, Velvet. I'm going back to help Celica. You'll be just fine with these. Celica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? I'll come back for you once Celica is safe. It's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister, and you're a student. Okay. So Velvet is Laffy's older sister. <laughs> oh no! Guy, you don't look so good. Nope, he is definitely not good. Nothing happened between then and now. Hey, Velvet. I assume this is... Well, I could be wrong. <laughs> 
No, no combat tutorial. Just us watching Velvet have fun. On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. Yes, ma'am. Luffy, time to wake up. <sighs> okay. Morning. I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the Cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? No, you can't entertain Don't yourself. Trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. Control screen. Not a battle tutorial. Okay. A ball, village of longing. I can move! That took long enough. Okay. Check the books. Uh huh. Rest up, all right? Don't forget to take some gels with you. You know, you're careless sometimes. I'll be fine. You just make sure. Don't worry about me. I'll be in bed resting. You better be. Okay. All right. So let's go upstairs. A potato. This game's the best. <laughs> All hail the potatoes. Thank you, Mini Map. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If I'm on the hunt for prickle bores, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Luffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. Oh, that's interesting. I I didn't know that uh some monologues on the controller. That's kind of unfortunate, but you all might barely be able to hear it. I can rectify that by just putting the uh controller closer to the mic. Thing to explore around this area. Let's see. Yeah. Shiny thing. A garlic. A potato and garlic. I can make garlic potatoes. I love this game. Best game ever. 2017. Hashtag best game ever. No. 
All right. So then, let's go. Dinner plans. Come to think of it, Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it. I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Selica taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Uh-huh. This is all way too happy. If I learned anything about RPGs, or just video games in general, or just, you know, anything, that if it starts out good, it's gonna get messed up real quick. Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. It's a nightmare. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, Selica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. <laughs> they almost sounded like the same character. I might have to listen back and uh, to confirm that, but it sounded like the same character did both those voices. Hey, Velvet. Is Lafisette feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest, I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafisette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back. Like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit. That sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Lafi all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. Okay. I should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare. But like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. That was the controller audio. Do I even? Yeah, I have a little bit of money. Let's do this dialogue up here. What's up, guy? The demon blight or, is a punishment. Please. Sent to us by the Empyreans for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Empyreans? The four Empyreans created the world. The one Empyrean shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. Because there's a huge difference. Let's 
good beauty exit. Tranquil woods, autumn colored forest. This area looks promising. did a thing. Let's go do this other thing. Prickle Boar's future. The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our Prickle Boar meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkle Boars? Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about Pigglebore? Yeah, Pigglebore! That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. Lady, you're thinking too much. Everyone loves bacon. Just call them bacon. Treasure chest. Apple chest. Combos. All the combos. Thing in the wall. Safe boy. Okay, so we are going to continue Tales of Berseria during our next jazz session. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. <laughs>